very famous essay by Jane Addams, Why Women Should Vote, and it's recreated in many places. Um, Jane Addams, uh, you would probably want to introduce Jane Addams to the students first. She's a key progressive reformer and a key voice of women at the, at the moment. She's probably the most well-recognized and admi generally admired woman of her time. Um, and she writes an article um, where she says not only why should women get the vote, why women should have the vote, but she talks about why women should vote. The part talking to a readership that is anti-suffrage and is female. So what she is trying to do is appeal to women who are anti-suffrage. Men who are anti-suffrage um, were powerful voices, um, but when women seemed ununited on this issue, uh, it made it harder to make the that women vote. Um, in fact, a lot of public discussion after a 1905 was wanted the vote. And if you could show that most women either didn't consider it relevant to them or felt uncomfortable with it or openly opposed it, the idea was why should suffrage be granted? Women don't even want it for themselves. So she's speaking directly to women. She's trying to organize women and change women's minds, not just men's minds. And I think that's probably something that students might be surprised about as well. So when she says why women should vote, she uses all of the um, social housekeeping or maternalist kinds of arguments that we've talked about and we've seen in the visuals. And it's three or four pages long. Students can take it home. They can read it for themselves. And they can pull out, I think, easily recognized moments in the essay where she relies on those particular kinds of arguments.